Oh, Lissandra would be the biggest buzzkill, wouldn't it? <laughs> it's going to be something like that. Jace, yeah. Uh, Jace is all right. Sure. I think uh, Yasuo would have been my preferred pick because uh, Arctic Assault, um, you know, plus the last breath is like That's pretty fun. Wild growth? And wild growth, yeah. Loads yeah. of things. Sure, Zeri's got a knockup. She's got everything else, doesn't she? So, yeah, I was about to, to ask, like, we haven't seen top lane Jace in quite a while. I don't expect her to come on in this matchup either. And then, as all they know. All right, spotting out one another as Umpty safeguards himself first. Lands the Q there as well. We'll be able to get that extra damage down as Zeus looking to try and help his jungler. Safeguard out here from Umpty, and that means the T1 members are together. Another Q is going to connect, but I don't think Umpty wants to take that one because the Nah has... Yeah, oh, he's going to die. Okay. All right, fair I'm enough. I'm there for it. They do have a flash still available. That is going to be a flash forward here from Ona, as Morgan is going to flash. So, Ona... Wait, so kind of awkward here as well, Umpty. Oh, dear. He's going to get Polymorph, but in goes Effort. They Wait. find a knock-up Faker. It's going to burn down an Effort. Takes down his ex-teammate. I was not expecting that one as the Gromp even getting a little bit frustrated here. With as a lot of owners jungler and a solo bolo as Faker. Oh, no, he has to go 1v3. Now as, F as Umpty is going to turn up, Tibbers. <laughs> it is pretty impressive. He's doing Drake. He's ganking bot. He is ganking bot. He is ganking bot. And he's going to miss the Q. <laughs> And then they need to make this one work out because the Rift Herald is being taken over to the other side of the map as Kumushi going to flash, trying to get himself out of here as Effort taking a lot of damage and they realize they are not going to make this one work. They're, they're they always hanging out. That's how it works. As, oh. All right, Kumushi is going to go all in here towards his bottom side. Not going to dive as Effort yes. is going to have to vacate the area. And uh, I say not going to dive, but still, Henner is able to deal with that mini wave. Yeah, being able to get that shove, very, very important. Means that Morgan will have to teleport if he wants to join the potential fight as Gumiushi coming on a flank angle as Henna immediately cleanses. Pretty Captain Jack-esque as we do see that teleport coming in. Naba, not exactly there for Morgan, but he will be able to charge that one up. As in goes Umpty, they are going to be able to secure it. It's Morgan that collects the Drake, but I don't know whether he's going to survive. That is going to be a kill for the Zeri. The Annie goes down as well. It's a Cloud Soul. Oh, and what man. looks like... Oh, okay, okay that's that's, uh, that's going to be a pick onto Faker here, who is uh, looking to try and get out. Um, maybe you guys left a little bit of... Um, hello, team? Hello? Uh, I'm speaking... Why is that? He should be. Uh, he's um, certainly taking some time as we can see. Oh With my, my god! Misses. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. To a certain extent, Annie also kind of suffer from this as getting some return kills would be really big here, but it's Zayas with Gore Drinker, ult and flash available, and he's not going to take the short trade down. Waiting there. Oh. 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 Yeah, going to get out as Umpty gets a Q. So, on um, the little Krug is now Morgan. That's too many friends. He's dead. Yeah, he's going to get turned into a little critter and then obliterated. 70, 80% Narbar, and you're forced to engage. Things are dire, but instead, T1 is completely running the map. Yeah. And the Brian combo now is one way to get back, and that is the Mega Giga Wombo combo, which into a Zeri. Maybe that's what Bro Leavers are looking for. Maybe it's miracles. Ah. That are what makes this team so special? Is Umpty just standing oh. here in this oh. brush, oh. No, surrounded no, no, by no, members no, no, of no. the He's going to get stunned up in skates, Gumiyushi. And he will be able to take down the Blind Monk. Oh god, it's not done. Yeah, uh, They're not done, uh, Atlas! Gonna be getting out of there. Does have the Grand Exit available. Takes the Blast Cone and... Oh, Morgan! Morgan, no! He does hop his way out. No, he doesn't. That's a fadeaway jump shot there from Ona. Really cleanly done. Ah, yes. Utilizing the best break in the game. Oh, no. Teleport gonna come through here from Faker as the bear is just 100% ignored. Ivory Tipping will go in. golden for a moment. Isaias gonna get kicked around a little bit. Dominus comes through. Are they doing damage? I think they are. As Hannah tries to get some work done. The Q connects from Umpty this time, though, as he tries to safeguard his way out. It's not gonna get him out, though, as it's a double kill. Here for Faker, and now maybe the kills will start raining in for Gumiushi, who's flashing after them. He'll grab one. Can he grab Hannah here as well? Under the turret, my good as Gumiyushi is going to die, but he gets the triple and the ace in the end, and that should spell Baron okay. here. But my goodness, he is so much money ahead. As Ona is going to look for Hannah there. Nice little Captain Jack, but it's not going to save him. He is still really dead. Faker's going to get the kill, but not the assist. A double kill, but not double assist. Oh, he 
needs two assists! He does! He's not gonna hit it, is he? No, but he's gonna get another couple of kills, which is fantastic. He already has the most of those in the league as well. And just needs to augment that number a little bit. They'll break open the base here of Bro in game number two. Zayas getting the work done on the bottom side as well. No wave top, but it doesn't really seem to matter as T1 with their Baron buff looking to get even more done here. Ona getting forward. Zayas just doing a lap of the Nexus here as Kumiyushi going to get assist number one. That's going to be a kill for Faker as well. And the Nexus turrets are now down. Is it going to be 4499 in the end? That would be pretty sad as Faker is now trying to lock down Umpty here. Blast from the past, of course. The longest game of all time was between those two. This is one of the shorter ones of the season, though, as T1 walk away with a 2-0. Player and... Yeah. Uh, he just, knows. Known. he just knows that, you know, the T1 fans don't really like the that Faker finishes the game at uh, 4,499 assists. That particular record as a community with the burst fire. <laughs> the celebration countdowns, because I think at the moment it is pretty much just Gumiushi that's doing it. <laughs> okay.